record warm <laughs> weather just days before the Austin Marathon. Yeah, we are. So you wanted to know how the warmer temperatures can actually impact your run. So David is live from Fleet Feet for us this morning. Oh, everybody left you behind. Hey, John, Sal, you'll have to excuse me. You're breaking up just a bit, but yeah, well, luckily the record heat today is not going to come a couple days from now during the marathon. Matter of fact, if you're running the Ascension Seaton Austin Marathon, step outside right now. Race time temperatures in the 50s feel a lot like this in the 50s this morning. Now our big crew just took off for their race of four to seven miles out on the lake and our producers did a lot of research. We found some really interesting stuff about the fact that the 50s on Sunday morning might actually be quite nice. Check this out, the ideal running temperature done by a lot of research here, about the mid 40s for a full marathon up to the lower 60s if you're running a shorter race like the 5K and somewhere in the middle there as you see for the half marathon. The five fastest finishes for the marathon. These are averaging all of the winners each race. About 40 degree temperatures. That gives the men the fastest times and 43 degrees apparently gives the women the most successful race. The five slowest times, of course, that comes when it's 15 degrees warmer. 55 were the slowest times for men and 52 degrees the slowest times for the women according to our digging. Very cool numbers there and obviously the cooler the better. Hopefully we can get that front here on Saturday night. Now, KXAN, as we've told you, is a proud sponsor of the marathon on Sunday. If you want to take part, head on over to KXAN.com, click on Simple Health, and you can still register for the 5K. Sean?